It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Now, I will tell you something I will be doing this summer. Yeah. I think I'm going to try the short pants with the socks pulled all the way up to the knee just so people can see me in the fresh ass dance socks. Son, it's a great look. It's a great look. I mean, I don't know if it's great, but I'm going to try it just it's because I don't know what else to do with the socks. It's a great look. You think you're so? talking about shorts or you're talking about shorts. a pants? No, shorts. Ah. I'm going to wear shorts. Yeah, yeah. With and the I'm going to pull the socks all the way up just because yep. the socks got dope ass designs on them. Yeah. I want people to see. Yeah, that's like a West Coast Vato Loco thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I like that for you. I like that for you. You think it'll look work? Yeah, I think maybe a khaki. You go with a nice khaki not short. Doing that, no. Well, you're going to go with a jeans short? You dress like 50 Cent? Nah, I'm going to do like basketball shorts. Like basketball shorts. Oh, you're talking about like a relaxed, like at home attire. Yeah, awesome, awesome sweat shorts. Sweat shorts. Yeah, like the sweatpants, but the sweat, the sweat the shorts. Oh, dude. Yeah, we got to yeah, get yeah. Sir Tabaka in one of those. Huh? What? <laughs> I did think of something just now. <laughs> oh, we know. I might as well say it. Who gives a fuck? Go. I think it might be a little too big for shorts. His dick would be hanging out the end. Yeah. You're saying, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> It'd be hanging well, out the end. Do you think when you first see him, you'd be like, bro, are you taking a shit? Wrong what? Being a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a little weird, yeah. bro. Like your dickhead just at the bottom of your shorts. It'd be yeah. kind of strange. It would be weird. That would make a lot of people uncomfortable. Yeah. Do That's you think, all I'm saying. Do you think it's circumcised or not? I have no idea. Do you think his uncircumcised dick is just hanging out like a big old blunt he was smuggling? Question, if you are uncircumcised, right, and you have a big penis, but when it's on soft, yeah. it's mostly skin. Yeah, it looks like a stance sock. Like if you was to whip it out, yeah, if you was to whip it out, Taylor, would you be impressed? Would you be like, oh, shit, or you'd be like, that's just all skin. It's all skin. Would yeah, you yeah, try yeah. to cuddle up inside it like a sleeping bag? <laughs> you know, move the smack mouth out the way and just, you know, warm is, up a little it's bit. It's fun to play with, though. What, foreskin? Yeah. Holy shit, I've Wait never heard this. This is crazy. <laughs> this is new. This is... I've never heard this. Hold on. Really? Hold on. Tell me more. Hold on. I've been, we've talked about foreskin a lot over the years. Salute to Zuri Hall. When, when she was dating what? her oh, boyfriend yeah. with foreskin. I can't yeah. remember his name she right now. She dating the same guy over and over again. <laughs> well, hopefully the, the hopefully, same white guy, just a little bit different hope, over and over again. Hopefully, homie, that she dating now is circumcised. Does she yeah. date black guys? Huh? Does she date black That's guys? none of your That's business, none of your yo. Fucking business. yo, why you ask all these questions? That's why your eyes red, because she probably punched you in What them. does it matter if Zuri dates black guys tonight? I just want to know. Back, now, back to you having fun with this foreskin, <laughs> goddammit. What do you do with it exactly? <laughs> yo, this is going to be crazy. I need, like... like use your Don't use my fucking water, yo. <laughs> use your hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, so look. Yeah. Like, it's nah, just like, that's circumcised. Your hoodie. Oh, I got it. I got a good one. Give me the top of the mic. Take it off. Okay. Now, it's a s uncircumcised dick. <laughs> yes. No, no. This is uncircumcised. That's the ridge. Yeah. The top part. So, I yeah, can yeah. smell it. I just like, I just like, like. Jerk it up and yeah, down. Yeah, jerking it up and down and then just like trying to cover the top part. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> that shit would make me feel so insecure. He... I swear if a girl was playing, just sitting there playing on my foreskin, Inside. that shit would drive me crazy. My insecurity would make me go nuts with why, that shit. Why? Bro. Why is that? I would just feel like she playing with me. Like, why are you playing with me? He didn't like it. I was dating a Haitian. He did not like that. He didn't? I thought it was funny, though. I would try to cover it, the top part, and then, like, pick a poo. Like, I used to play pick a poo. <laughs> pick a poo. <laughs> Pick a poo. Pick a poo. What the fuck? <laughs> really? Yeah, but I'm never doing that shit again. Why? Because it comes with too much, like, that. It's disgusting. The smegma? The of, yeah. But it's not, he cleaned himself, but it still was like, it's too many issues that come with it. See what I'm saying? You know how prejudiced this is? Exactly. I had a whole thing about it. It is, though. No, it's, you, this is prejudice. You just was giving it so you much props. I wasn't, I didn't That's feel... That's how dicks are supposed to look. I going raw with him. Why not? Because... Like, You're never really going raw with somebody who has foreskin, by the way. Why? They always got coverage? It's natural condom. Mm. <laughs> Interesting point. But do you, don't, you don't think a foreskin dick... And like a, a like your regular pussy, they're the same. Nobody makes you cut off something off of your pussy. It's not the same. It literally is how God made dicks and pussies. <laughs> That's exactly the same. No, but the dick is going in the pussy. It's yeah, not, I wouldn't say the pussy's the same as a fucking. 
What's it called? What are those dicks called? Uncircumcised I mean, dicks. You know, Andrew, <laughs> AKA dicks. Andrew does have a point. I mean, it's natural. It, it comes with foreskin. Yeah. Like it is a natural thing. That is like the that's the organic dick. It is. You know what I'm saying? Once you get a circle size, it's like, yo, it's a little GMO-ish. It's GMO. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> you shop at Whole Foods or Gristidi's? <laughs> I never Real heard talk. of Gristidi. And that? guys that have four skins say that the sex feels better. I've heard that. Yeah. Because our dicks are desensitized. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be desensitized? Imagine how sensitive it would be if you had the foreskin. Because the foreskin covers your dickhead, which is yeah. a sensitive part your whole life. Yeah. Your dickhead is just exposed to the yeah, environment. That's why dogs nut so fast, though. Because they got that pink they shit got coming out. They got that goddamn foreskin. Dogs are uncircumcised, so dogs can just hump the air, and the air turns them on so much, they start nutting all over the place. I wonder if that happens to motherfuckers that are uncircumcised. They come faster. <laughs> they yeah. come faster, 100%. Why you think girls like us? Because we give them that long dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's not fun to suck, though. C Taylor, can you calm down? Wow. Yo, <laughs> Taylor, this, this, no. this is a PG-13 podcast. What are you talking about What's up over with here? you, man? You guys no. are talking about it this and then you get mad. It's a horrible decision. I know. Like, what's going on? <laughs> you said they're fun to suck? No, they're not. Oh. They're not fun to suck. Why? What does it feel like? It's just too much skin. Oh, is that why your eyes turn red? Yeah. But, but hold up, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Your eyes did look like a pink dick the last week. So listen, when they get when it gets hard, though, doesn't the skin go back? A little bit. But, like, as soon as it gets soft, that shit comes right back. Like, it's no... Circumcise your kids, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the moral of the motherfucking story. 